Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Ask Steph, the weekly series where I, Stephanie Lillian, take the time to answer your yoga and meditation questions. The question of this week is which yoga mat should I be using? That is an awesome question. Lots of students take time to figure out the yoga mat that will best serve their practice. So there's lots of yoga mats out there and a whole landscape of what you can choose from. So hopefully today I'm gonna to break it down for you. And this is all just my recommendations and what I've seen from other people using and what I've used myself. So to start, if you're starting your yoga and meditation journey, by all means, please do not obsess over or beat yourself up over what equipment you're using. Even if you're an advanced yogi, the equipment is not what matters. What matters is that you're showing up and practicing yoga, not what you're practicing on, what you're practicing in. Just be there for yourself and with yourself. If you are starting your yoga journey and you are looking for a yoga mat, I definitely recommend that you simply start at somewhere like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, even possibly. They sell some great yoga mats for a cheap price. You can really even find them under $10, and a lot of them have really pretty designs. So I'd recommend that you start there, especially if you're just starting your yoga journey. So you can really just hop on your mat and get started without a huge investment. That being said, I will say that those yoga mats, if you are starting to get more and more into your practice and practicing more routinely, they do start to kind of peel depending on the ones that you get. You'll notice where you usually have your hands and your feet, they might, the foam might start kind of ripping up a bit. That's because you're using it more regularly and that foam isn't as durable as some of the other mats that you might spend a little bit more money on. But if you're just starting your yoga journey, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check out a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, any store like that and see what yoga mats they carry because that's a perfect low cost way to start. I started with those type of mats all the way up to my yoga teacher training program. I was practicing yoga on just those mats that you find at those type of stores. That being said, in my yoga teacher training graduation, we were gifted Lululemon yoga mats as our graduation gift. Everybody in my uh, yoga teacher training class got one upon graduating. And I had no idea that more durable, thicker, long-lasting mats even existed. I did not know there was a whole brand. I honestly didn't even know what Lululemon was. I vaguely knew what it was at the time. I definitely didn't know that they carried mats. By the way, this is not sponsored at all. This is just my own journey. Ever since that I got, as you can see, I'm sitting on my second Lululemon mat. They last a really long time. They last a super long time and I absolutely love them. Um, I'm sitting on this one right now and I think it's one of the thicker ones, but ever since I tried the mat and I got gifted that one at my yoga teacher training program, I really, really liked it because though it's an investment and they're a little bit more expensive, like I said, they last a really long time. So if you are looking to make an investment, I do recommend this mat. The cool thing about this one as well, which you'll find is they're just their normal mats on their site. This is just the thickest one. One side is a little bit more cushiony and the other side is a little bit more slick, but they're absor they absorb sweat really nicely and they definitely don't peel uh, and they don't get slippery either. So if you're sweating a lot, this is definitely a mat that I would recommend if you are looking to invest. I will say as well, I do use a towel over my mat. So this is Manduka, which is the next brand that I would like to recommend to you. But you'll see, this is their Yogi Toes towel. On the back of the towel, they have these grippy things. Actually, let me hold it up to the camera so you can see more. See the little dots? So those grip, I put this side down and I practice on the beautiful design of an elephant. You can't really see, but it's really pretty. Um, I practice on this. I like it because it will absorb the sweat and I can throw this in the washing machine rather than always be washing my yoga mat. So I feel like it makes it last a little bit longer. Also, when I practice, it can get pretty sweaty. So it does just add that extra absorb absorbing layer. So this brand is Manduka. Their symbol, like Lululemon symbol is like a little omega sign. Their symbol is a little frog. It usually is in the little dot, but... Um, I don't know if I, I don't have my tag on this one. Yeah, I cut it off. 
But Manduka, M-A-N-D-U-K-A, is an awesome brand that I know I see tons of yogis use their mat as well. They're eco-friendly, they're non-slip as well. Uh, I would love to try one, I just haven't yet because I've always had my Lululemon mats. But if you are looking for one that is a little bit more eco-friendly, um, it is. I've seen so many yogis use it and I would recommend that brand as well. The last brand, if you are looking to invest a little bit more on yoga mats, is um, Life Form. Again, never used it myself, but I've seen lots of advanced yogis use it. I believe my teacher for my yoga teacher training program, she had one and I had one of the students in the program. So they're cool because they have like a line down the center and kind of ticks on the sides where you can see kind of where you're placing your feet and your hands for alignment's sake. And I know that they are as well like non-slip and they last a really long time. I think they might be even more expensive than the Lulu or the Manduka. Uh, but again, when you invest in a mat, they last a long time. My first mat that I got from my yoga teacher training program, I think it lasted me like four years and honestly it could have lasted longer. I was teaching on it, I was practicing on it. It's just the little foam size started to just a little bit look a little worn. So I eventually got this one um, to replace it. And this is my second one. So. That being said, though you're spending a little bit more money, it lasts longer, you're not gonna deal with <laughs> rolling up your mat at the end of class and finding little pieces of your mat around the area. Um, again, though, I do recommend that if you are just starting yoga, go on and get a Marshalls TJ Maxx yoga mat. I do have a yoga mat that I got for my birthday or Christmas last year from my husband that I do take to travel, it's Gaia. Um, and their brand is awesome as well. They have some really pretty designs and they have some thicker ones. And when you are looking for a yoga mat, I would think about, you know, how much you're gonna be using it, what you're looking for in a mat. Take into consideration how thick the mat is. So this one I think is like about five millimeters, if not, I don't know if it's more. I honestly don't know exactly how thick it is, um, but it's the thicker one. So if you think about it, if you're gonna be doing postures that you're gonna be putting pressure on your knees or anywhere that you want a little bit more padding, I would definitely go thicker. They also send, sell some very, very, very thin ones, even ones that you can fold up and travel with. So those might be an option as well. If you're not kind of, if you're okay with not having like a lot of cushion or padding beneath you. I honestly was teaching for a little bit just using this guy because I wasn't on my mat a lot. So this is the towel and it lays over my mat, but I was honestly just traveling using this towel. But it, it obviously isn't as good as the mat because it kind of ripples up and um, moves on you a little bit, but when it's on the mat, it's totally fine. So again, just to summarize here, I could go on a lot longer about yoga mats and everything yoga, but just to summarize for you real quick, if you're just starting out in your yoga journey and don't wanna invest a ton of money, it makes total sense. For years, I just used yoga mats that I would get at any sort of discount store. Again, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any of those stores, you can find yoga mats under $10 and those are totally worth it. Once I discovered that there was a whole new realm of yoga mats and I really started to dedicate to my practice after my yoga teacher training program, I was initially introduced to the Lululemon mat and I've just stuck with it since. Um, there's no reason I haven't tried any other ones, just that I really liked how the Lulu one fit for me. It's durable, it works really well. When I first got it, I was just like mind blown, didn't know these existed, bought one for my mom for Christmas, and I've been just loyal ever since. However, other brands such as, such as Manduka, Lifeform, again, don't know of any others, haven't taken the time to really look extensively. Those are just ones that I have seen people and other teachers use and practice on and have enjoyed as well. So, Marshalls, TG Maxx. Lululemon, Manduka, Life Form. If you have any others you'd like to share with me, please feel free to do so. And again, if you do find yourself sweating a lot in practice, I do re totally recommend Manduka's uh, Yogi Toes mat that grip or Yogi Toes towel that grips to your mat. Uh, I've really enjoyed having it as well, and it's just so easy to clean rather than scrubbing down your mat all the time. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out to me, and I will see you next time. Namaste.